Yeah. Alright guys, so we're back in here in the uh, the control room uh, or the studio and now most studios or WorldCast facilities should have um, a rack full of mic pre's. Um, here's a couple of them that I do recommend. All right. When I plug the microphone up into the mic panel, I go straight out my patch bay over here. So I'm coming out of my mic panel uh, in the live room into my preamps, and all of these are what's called hardwire into the system in the patch bay. Okay. And I'm coming out of my microphone, which I think I have the ST77 set up now, into my my red preamp. All right, and these are the focus right uh, reds. This is my secret weapon. I go out of my my microphone into my mic pre focus right red. Out of the focus right red, I have to engage phantom power because it's a condenser microphone, so it gets plus forty eight volts DC. Out of there, I go into a compressor and. Basically, I'm just using my compressor as just a slight soft compression value. You don't have to do that, but um, that's just one of the tricks that I use. But um, I go out of here straight into my interface, okay? Um, so you can see I'm coming out of my mic pre into my DBX165A, and out of there, I'm going straight into my interface into channel one. And so I, I'll go up here to my track, and I'll zoom in up here for you guys to see. And you can see I have it set to input one. But I'll come over here to my I.O. setups, and I'll name that, uh, you know, that's the ST77. So from there, I'll come to my channel on the input of it and assign that. I'm using Pro Tools, but it doesn't matter if you're using Logic, Cubase, uh, Nuendo, Sonar, Reasons, uh, Record Reasons, of course, um, Ableton, it doesn't matter. You can uh, set up your, your IOs however you want to. I just like to label mine for consistency and organization purposes. A couple other preamps that you might want to consider is this John Hardy M1, all right? Very nice, uh, crisp sound you got out of there. Um, be careful, though. I, I noticed that if you hit it a little hard, that you're going to hear some distortion happening. Um, but nevertheless, it, you know, it comes down to experience. Here's a couple other preamps, the Ventec uh, Audio. Ventecs are, are really cool. I'll use my bass uh, for direct inputs. Uh, preamp will be ISA 428s. This is good, in my opinion, this is good if you're doing like some um, ADR, automatic dialogue replacement for maybe you know television or film or something like that those are really good for that um, the supers these are pretty cool um, nice uh, smooth another one I, I recommend is the DW Fern those are really cool they remind me of the supers um, and then you have PreSonus for the price those are pretty decent as well alright another preamp that I recommend for you guys that are price conscious is the Gracie Designs M101's and this guy right here is really smooth alright you have uh, uh, some incremental uh, gain structure here and then you have some you know very finite trim um, additional structure so if I wanted to maybe have my input there and then fine tune it instead of going 10 dB increments maybe going like plus two or plus three or plus four or plus five all right for here you have ribbon um, selection for ribbon. The Royers are pretty good to use for ribbon microphones. Um, plus 48 volts. So this is very simple design and most mic pre should be. They shouldn't have a lot um, incorporated in it but uh, another one that I love to use is called the Avalon 737 um, and I don't have one here at this studio but I use that religiously in a lot of my recordings. Give me that just nice soft filter. So from there that's basically what I use to track my vocals. I appreciate you guys coming through. I'll go ahead and record just some, a couple of vocal takes here um, in terms of um, what it sounds like and how I have it set. And then uh, the next tutorial will be my um, acoustical guitar tutorial. Once again this is your boy Rico Lumpkins aka The Vet Boy. I appreciate you checking in. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with all your friends too. So you come check it out. All right, subscribe. Thank you very much. Love you, YouTube.